Hey everybody, it's Glidercat. It's time to play back in Foundry. Here we go. Here's a nice look at our lab. We've got, or our factory, I should say. There's Research Lab 2. We've now started feeding that science packs. And our last research is completed. We'll have to pick another one here in a second, but I want to show you what I did off camera real quick. So we'll hop on down here. There are our science pack ones. And there are our science pack twos. They're a bit slower. <laughs> we had a good, we had a, a big supply of science pack ones already, but there's a science pack level two heading over to the lab. Uh, one thing I did off camera is I cleared off a bunch of space here for when we want to build our research lab three. I'm guessing it's going to look the same as these two. So we'll plop it down here and this will be our research park. And what else did I do? The other thing I did off camera was I took a look at the map and I did a little exploring just to see what kind of other ores we have. Uh, and where they're at. So it looks like they're pretty sparsely placed on the map. We just saw the Ignium and we saw this Xenoferrite before. I've expanded the map north a little bit and found another little cluster here of Technum, Xenoferrite, and more Ignium. And then I went a little bit off to the west here and we found some more Technum and some Ignium. That's stone, I believe. Here is a reservoir of alumite and more ignium ore. And then I kind of made my way back. I think we've seen, we maybe not have seen this reservoir, but we've seen this olamite and we've seen these two before. And I think we saw this technum before. I don't think I went very far south. So why was I looking for new ore, new sources of ore? The reason is I'm thinking about the next thing we need to research. And I was thinking about, uh, if we go on the crafting menu, we just unlocked these assembler level twos and they require steel beams. So it seems like that's not a bad thing to research. Another re and our get in, uh, get into production, these steel beams. Another reason to do steel beams is if you remember, we researched, Research Lab Level 3, and if you look over to the right pop-up here, that's going to require 400 Xenoferrite steel beams just to complete the construction of uh, Research Lab 3. So we're obviously going to need a whole lot of Xenoferrite steel beams. So what's it take to make those? Let's go back into metallurgy here. Xenoferrite steel beams require steel ingots. Steel ingots require... Xenoferrite ingots. Xenoferrite ingots just require xenoferrite ore, but these steel ingots require ignium ore as well. So we need to find, or we need to grab resources both from a xenoferrite mine and an ignium mine in order to produce these steel beams. So I was trying to find on the map, is there a place where we've got two of those ore mines or ore deposits close to each other? The other thing we're going to need is if you look at the bottom of the pop-up that's there now is a blast furnace. We've got that researched and it looks like we've got, we know how to make all of these components. So that's not going to be hard to construct the blast furnace. I'm not sure how it works. So again, we need ignium ore and techno or and uh, xenoferrite kind of close to each other or somewhere in proximity of each other so we can create these steel beams. So if we go back to the map, I mean, we've got Ignium way over here and we've got some more Xenoferrite over here. We could always make use of our Xenoferrite that we have close by, but it, it's not really any better. So what I was thinking we might try and do, there's another uh, Xenoferrite here and Ignium. These are a little closer together, but they're further from our main factory. So I was thinking of mining xenoferrite here and let's see what kind of maybe doing a little processing on it then sending it off to the middle here and then bringing our ignium ore to the middle and having a steel beam construction or uh, automation taking place right here and then we can pipe that back to our main factory 
So this is going to be a whole new mining operation with a solar power <laughs> farm in order to keep that thing churning away. Same thing over here. And then we'll probably use level two conveyors just so we don't have to upgrade. And maybe we need to build a little factory somewhere just to produce level two conveyors for us. So we have a, a good supply of those because it looks like we're going to be doing a fair amount of, of, of shipping resources, long distances at this point in the game. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking we need to do to get our steel beam production going. So that is what we're going to have to undertake. Now, it's, there's a lot to making this happen. Take a look at that map again. So somewhere in the middle here, I think we're really familiar with Xenoferrite. It might be a good idea to start here, get a new solar farm going, and start producing the xenoferrite ore, start mining that. And then we can turn that, let's bring up the crafting menu and see, we'll, we'll have to drop a blast furnace. We'll learn how to power that thing. And that should give us steel ingots. And then I guess, no, that should give us, that'll give us the xenoferrite ingus, ingot. <laughs> that will give us the xenoferrite ingots. And we'll send those across to the middle of the map. And then we'll have a blast furnace in the middle of the map that takes the ingam ore and those xenoferrite ingots and creates steel ingots. And then we can either send the steel ingots back to our main factory or we can drop an assembler over near the middle of the map between those two ore deposits and assemble steel ingots there and just pipe in the steel ingots on a belt. We'll have to see what, what makes the most sense. I, I think it probably makes sense to process those into steel ingots, although it's a one for one, right? So one steel ingot gets us one steel beam. So it's not gonna save us any belt, uh, any belt space or throughput by converting them to steel beams. So maybe we bring, maybe we bring the uh, steel ingots into our main uh, factory. We'll just have to see. So we're going to need a blast furnace for that. And we'll need a blast furnace for that. Xenoferrite ore into the blast furnace. Yeah, so let's go. Yeah, let's go head over there. And boy, we're going to need to take some resource with us, right? We need a good number of building blocks. I've got over 200. I got 450, 460. We've got a biomass generator. We've got a couple solar panels. We'll probably want to take some more Technum rods if we can get a hold of them. And then head out there and start building uh, a mining operation for Xenoferrite. So let's go get started on that. Let's, let's, uh, let's dive in. I'm going to run up to the top of the hill here. I think we still have one of our assemblers um, kind of set up to just store our technum rods here if i'm not mistaken yeah we do so i'm just going to steal these and then let's make our way and eventually yeah this we need to put some support pillars or something to make this not look so goofy but we'll do that in an aesthetics and lighting episode we will not do that in this episode there's another science pack level two heading over to the lab speaking of which let's go ahead and pick our next research Let's see, we've got character crafting speed. I'm not as concerned about that. This combustion generator sure sounds interesting. Inventory size, we might wanna be thinking about that as we have to travel from the main lab out to these outposts. That's not a bad idea there. Lights, logistics container, I think we're okay on that. And then we have these map scans that are kind of interesting and conveyor level threes, a circuit board. That's probably an input to something. Crusher, I have no idea. Does it say what this is? A machine that is mainly used for crushing or compressing materials. Yeah, I just don't know. I don't know what that what that's going to be for. Let's see. Igni I guess we'll find out. We have piping. I think this piping is going to be used for the that third or fourth ore type that we saw on the map. This olamite. I have a feeling that that's what this is. That this is going to be liquid, and we use pipes for it. But I'm not positive. And we have science pack threes to research. Okay, build a research lab to finish this research. Oh man, the combustion generator sure sounds interesting. I 
wonder what the heck that takes. Maybe that takes, you know what? I bet that takes the Olamite. Let's, oh man, a curiosity kills the cat. Let's just go ahead and do that. Let's take, let's go for a combustion generator. Boom, research complete. So while I was doing all that digging, uh, we were accumulating science packs. So that allowed us to complete that research instantaneously. Cool, combustion generator. Oh, I should have clicked on it before to see what it says. Uh, let's see. We'll have to figure out what that does. All right, let's take on the inventory space next. We'll start that research. And that's going to take a little while to process. So let's move back to, or let's head over to our second xenoferrite mine or ore deposit and build a mine over there. So I need to double back here like this. Let's just check our a little bit this way. Yeah, that's about it. So let's head over there. I've got some resources on hand. And we can set up another mining operation. So let's see. Hopefully this is on a little more flat ground. Otherwise, we're going to have to do some jump cuts to, to level things up a little bit. Let me know in the comments how you would deal with this terrain. Would you level it off or would you strive to just deal with the contours as best you can and don't spend hardly any time leveling? I think it looks good when it's leveled, but it does take a lot of time. All right, here we go. Boy, we're going to have to route belts through all of this. That's not going to be too fun, but maybe we can tunnel through. Tunnel through this mountain. Wow, this is going to take a while. It's going to take some work. All right, I'm just hopping up through here. Lots of stone. This is hard to drill through, so we're going to need to uh, prioritize our mining drill upgrade as well. Let me just check the map, see how close we are. We need to get through to the other side of this. We may have to drill ourselves out some steps. Uh, let's just do that. Let me grab the mining drill. I think we can uh, just create some steps here for ourselves and get up here. One more, maybe. Boom, boom. All right. We are looking for xenoferrite, and we are close. Got to go back up. Boy, it's going to be way on top of this mountain. That would be... That would be interesting. Let's see. I didn't see where the ore was. We're heading in the right direction. Is it in the side of this mountain? Or is it on the other side of the mountain? We'll find out. We're about to find out. Ooh. Let's see here. We'll check the map here in a second. Map, did we pass it? A little. We gotta go. Man, is it? Where is it? All right, come with me on a little journey. Here we go. Is it up here somewhere? Oh, there, I see the nodes, right? I see the silhouette of the nodes. Well, we get some cheap ore here off the bat. I don't really need it, right? I don't actually want it in my inventory. So, yeah, here we go. Top of this mountain. Wow. Map. Let's see. We are going to end up routing this directly, pretty much directly east when we're done. So let's take that into consideration. We can see the compass in the top left. So we're going to be routing this out, out this way. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, no. Look at that. We are going to have a challenge. A challenge for sure. But we're up for the challenge. I could almost fill this in. I could almost bridge this and we'd have a nice place to drop that blast furnace. And, uh, yeah, I guess mainly the blast furnace. And let's take a look at the crafting menu. Is there anything else we need for this? I guess just the blast furnace, right? We're not going to have any assemblers up here. We're going to 
have our drone miners they'll feed xenopharic ore straight into the blast furnace and then we'll take those xenopharite ingots and send them to the middle of the map. That's really all we need to do here. So drone miners and xenopharite ingots. And the rest will be taken care of in the middle of the map. And again, we're gonna head, let's see, what was that? Yeah, straight east. And we'll meet up here with the igneum ore, somewhere in the middle here that these stony areas are probably little hills as well, but who knows? We're right on top of this mountain. Wow. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge to route this ore over this chasm, isn't it? We may have to come down. Yeah, we may have to ladder some conveyors down. We also talked about wanting to do the level two conveyors at least. But I don't know. Let's take a look at the crafting for that. Level two conveyors. I'm going to need a lot of these uh, sloped ones. Two conveyor twos and one machinery part. So we're going to need to, yeah, we're going to, we're going to need to do some crafting here in order to get this ore where we need it to go. Ore mine, drone miners, we only have level one. Hmm. We would need to research to get level two. I don't think we need it yet. I mean, I'd like to do it to do it. Let's see what it says. Higher drone cargo capacity and mining speed. So it's just faster. I think we're going to stick with the level ones. It's a little anticlimactic. We don't need a ton of space here. I think what I'm going to end up doing, and I don't know if I'll do this off camera or do it here. It's going to take a while. But maybe clear off a workspace here. Drill this down and maybe extend this out a little bit. And then uh, and then we can start setting up our platform. Oh, and we need to think about solar power arrays too, right? Maybe through here. Maybe there's a, a level here that we can, we can uh, flatten out. I've got, what do I have? I've only got 83 dirt on me. Let's see, 83 dirt. I've got a few stone. If I dig out some stone... All right, let's do a quick jump cut here. We'll just get this started. I'm not how, sure how far we're going to get in this episode, but at least we've got a plan. This ore, I'm not sure I even want to drill it yet. Um, I don't know if the drone miners, miners will take it. Maybe when we head back to the main lab, we can grab some. I just don't want it to fill up my inventory right now. All right, let's do a quick jump cut, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. It occurs to me I may not need to fill that in because I, or at least not with uh, these dirt blocks. I can just use our our uh, building blocks here because I think this is what we're going to do. Rather than drill out all the stone uh, and go lower, I think I'm going to just start on this level and place our drone miners on top of this guy. All right. So that's that, and then we really do need to think serious about our solar panels and how we're going to do that. So those all need to also sit on these uh, building blocks. I guess, you know, I'm thinking we just come out this way. I'm not sure why, why that direction's special, but it just seems like it's a little, a little better. So let's do that. Let's see how many building blocks we've got. to get something going here let's do uh, a temporary setup let's go into our backpack and see what we have 
I've got three solar panels sitting here. Why don't I grab a couple batteries? Let's craft up a couple batteries. If we can, one, two, yeah, we can. Craft up two batteries to get us started. We're gonna need power poles. Do I have any of those? Uh, probably not. It's gonna take, let's grab two power poles and a, a transformer we're gonna need. And then I need a drone miner. I haven't done that yet. Where is he? We'll just start with one. And then we're gonna need this blast furnace. So I've got enough resource to build that and I've got one more slot here. I'm gonna get rid of this 10 biomass just to free up a, an inventory slot. So let's go get the, elec the electric blast furnace going. Oh, I have a feeling we're gonna need a lot more power. But we'll do what we can do. Let's start. Let's start, let's start, let's start. Our drone miner is going to need to be... Has that been crafted yet? Yeah, there it is. We'll take that guy and put him... We'll start right here. Boom. And then we have that blast furnace thing. Let's just take a look at what... What that's going to be like here. Let's right click it. Uh, what the heck is this going to need? We're going to be feeding the ore in from there. So maybe we'll come out. Let's just pop this guy down. Make sure he's on the platform. I'm going to put him there and I'm going to throw some more platform blocks or building blocks down here. Just extend this out. We can get more. We're, we're crafting these now. And I think, hopefully we won't come up on with a shortage. We are going to have to make a couple trips probably back to our main uh, factory. So let's see, where the heck is this thing? Here's the panel. Do I want to reverse that? I think I do. Let me uh, move this. Put the panel towards the middle. This is a beast. So let's do, I'm thinking I'm gonna route the ore in through the side or the back of this thing. And I'm trying to leave room because I think we're gonna have more drone miners. Let's, can I go back one more even? Let's start there. Air on the side of having some extra space around. Let's see what the control panel on this guy says. No power, huh? Let's see, I guess he just needs power. Probably a ton of it too, right? Let's drop some solar panels and get this going and maybe a transformer. I'm gonna kind of start this away from the ore so I have room, I'm leaving room, I'm leaving room for uh, my drone miners. Let's pop one there. And then we'll leave a space, pop one there. And then we need to think about putting some more building blocks down. Let's see how many I've got. I'm still in good shape on these. I think if I go over and then up. That's it. <laughs> Let's see what it placed. All right, we got another platform over here. That's fine. We'll have to go get more. I can craft some here too if I need them. I think I have one more solar panel. Let's just put these in a row like that. We need a transformer. I'm gonna put that actually way over here. We'll have that facing us. Like that, and then our power poles. I think I'm just gonna place back here. I don't know if that guy can make it. Let's see if we can get by with two. Boom, boom. This guy to here. And then let's connect the two power poles. This guy to this guy. And let's connect this solar panel to that one. And then we'll connect this guy here. All right, let's see. Are we were outside of the range. Oh, are we just coming into daylight? No, we're just coming into nighttime, I bet. No. All right, cool. The sun's coming up. So we're going to be generating some power. 
What am I missing? Feels like I'm forgetting something. Does this guy say he has, he has power now? He does. All right. All right. All right. Cool. Let's pick a recipe. It's going to be xenoferrite ingots. And now we want to get a couple loaders going. All right. There goes our uh, drone miners. Cool. Look at this. We are moving along. I'm going to tab into this menu. I've got some loaders here. Let's take... I guess we just need one to start, right? Let's do this guy. And let's bring him in the side here. And let's just grab a belt. Man, we're going to be off and running here. That, that would be pretty freaking cool if we got our xenoferrite ingots going. Look at it go. Okay, power grid stalled. Yeah, I have a feeling this guy's going to take a ton of energy. So it's not going to run at night <laughs> at all. Unless we get a lot more solar going. And, more, and we haven't even placed our batteries yet. But uh, the way this guy's chewing up power, I don't think we're going to... We're going to be charging much battery juice during the day without more solar panels. So we're going to need a lot of energy here. Let's see what we got. Can I craft some more? I can. Let's grab... Maybe five more. Still probably not enough to keep the batteries charged. Let's see if I can craft any... How do we want to do this? I'm just going to do another row. Or should I do batteries here? Or should we keep extending out that way? Why don't we do solar panels along here? Let's go to that toolbar. And we're just getting ready to end this episode here too. But let's just see how about one more? Or am I wasting space? How about like this? And let's see if I can mirror image these power poles. So that would mean we need to craft a couple. If I have the resource, I do. I probably need at least five. Let's grab a power pole, and where do I have it? I have it kind of in between. So we'll wait for these guys to craft up. It shouldn't take long. Yes, I'm kind of pumped, but I swear it might take a whole episode to route this, <laughs> route these uh, belts, route this uh, these ingots all the way back to base because uh, we're a long way from home. All right, our power poles are starting to produce. Let's see. I want to make sure I can connect these two. I think they're within range. Let's do it. Boom. Boom. All right, so that's going to look good. Let's go ahead and put down more solar. We'll just keep with the pattern here. Cool. Very cool. But uh, we're going to have some work to really get this production where it needs to be. Because this guy's going to chew up a ton. Of, I just have a feeling it's going to chew up a ton of power. That guy to there. Let's connect these before we forget. And then this solar cell up to that. Is that how I did it? Yeah, it looks like it. That's barely mirror image. Can't make it perfect, perfect. But Oh, no, this pole's got to go. It's not even close. I want that guy right here. Boom. Now let's connect those. You go over to you. And then this guy go over to that. And we shouldn't need to connect this. So let's take a look at our energy grid and see. We should have six solar panels. No batteries. Six solar panels. How much is this blast furnace? Two, <laughs> two mega joules it's consuming. All right. We're not even producing that with the solar panels. So if we want that guy producing at full speed, and we do, it's going to take a long time. We need a ton more solar panels, like three times as many, it seems like. 
And then maybe we start with a battery array here and we just continue out our building blocks here. Let's see if I can make any more building blocks while we're out here with what I've got. Can. Let's just use up the resource. Hopefully we won't go back to having to do too much shuffling back and forth for resources. I'm going to hop down here. I'm going to extend this guy out. I'm going to try and get a little bit better view so I don't do too much. Let's hop here. And probably not going to get batteries in this episode. We'll maybe do that next episode. So let's... If I mouse up, it starts coming towards me. See how the blocks are coming towards me as I mouse up? So that's kind of a handy tip. Let's do that and take a look. I think I can get under there. And we'll have to make this pretty as well with lights and stairs and maybe guardrails for this one. Look, you know, fall off. We don't take fall damage yet, but uh, it still looks a little silly not, not having it. I might throw another transformer down. Hmm. Let's see. We're going to have batteries. How are we going to get through? I guess we'll just cut through this way. But if I mirror image this, I would need to put a transformer here. Let's see. Do I have the ability to build another one? I do. Let's go grab it. I'm not entirely sure I need the transformer, but uh, I think... I think you only need one for every five megajoules. Is that right? Max transmission rate, five megajoules. And we're not close to that. I'm going to throw another one down anyway. Uh, half for aesthetic reasons and then half for, I don't want to have to worry about it later. Because we're going to be throwing down a lot more solar panels and a lot of batteries out here where that blast furnace is. And we're going to have to do the same thing in the middle of the map because I know we need a blast furnace to build the uh, steel beams. I need two. There's what, steel rods and steel beams or something? All right, let's put this guy. Who is one up from me? He's like that, actually. All right, and let's connect him up. Boom, boom. And let's see about, did I make solar panels? I've only got two left. Drop them down here. And then consider and uh, continue with our pull pattern here. Let's connect these guys. All right. And then let's go and take this one here. I think we'll be fine. This one here. This one here. That's about it. I was thinking batteries back here somehow. Uh, let's see. How do we want to do that? Now, these power poles, this guy's already got four, one, two, three, four connections. So they can only have five. So I can't put like two batteries back to back and have and connect them up to this power pole. But I can connect that power pole to one more and do another row or something over here. Let's see, do I have how many building blocks? If I let's push out this way a little bit and see if I can. Uh, oops, how about right there? Seeing if I can extend this out with the solar panels and then back this way, do our batteries. Do I have any? Did I craft any batteries? I don't see any. Let's. I can grab two gets us started and then we're gonna have to go home to the main factory and get some more resource uh, let's just think about where we want to put these and then we'll wrap up this episode we're running a little long actually uh, tap all right how about let's see it might be cool to have these power poles Continue down the same path. So let's leave two there and we'll have the panels facing each other like we've done in the past. And let's pop a pole at the end of the second one or the start of the second. How about the start of the second one? 
that guy I'll get a pull and then we'll crank these up boom boom and then this guy will will power both of these batteries so we'll do this to this and then we'll do this to this check us out let's uh, look at the power grid and see okay yeah, we got our two batteries connected up we got eight solar panels we're producing about two megajoules we've got 10 megajoule transmission ability through our transformers and our blast furnace i think we saw it was consuming too right now it's not consuming anything because uh the mine the uh i'm sure the inventory is full is full so all right let's wrap this episode here wow we made some actually way more progress than i thought so we've basically all we got to do is route these things uh route this what is it uh, xenoferrite ingots all the way back to base so let's wrap it here uh, off camera i'll take us back to base and we got to think about do we want to invest in level two conveyor belts to haul this all the way to the middle of the map or are we going to go with just a regular conveyor belts and then upgrade them later when we need to so we'll give that some thought in between episodes until then, this is GliderCat saying thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you viewing the video. If you found any enjoyment, please give it a thumbs up and then consider subscribing to the channel. That helps us grow and helps me put together content like this. And until the next one, this is GliderCat signing off saying take care.